guys, Chris here. I'm going to share a project I'm working on with you. It's an analog synth project, pretty darn straightforward. Uh, I'm in a set of bass pedals right now, but this isn't a bass only. This is... because I happen to have the key pedals available. Um, the only holdback to this that I found, it's very usable. It is very straightforward. And the, uh, there is a bit of a, just a touch of a delay between the key press. And if you get going quick, it will miss you. But I'd like to show you how this is working. It's actually pretty interesting. And we'll get up there to the schematics in just a minute. Uh, it's real straightforward. We have a key matrixing set up here, uh, which is a 74C922 IC, basically. Uh, we have a VCA there, very little on the board. These are both script board over here, and we have a VCO. Um, you step up here. We're starting out with a uh, schematic from uh, Ken Stone. Uh, basically, uh, the 74C922 is a key matrixing IC. It will matrix up to 16 keys. It's designed to be a numerical, uh, for numerical keypads. Um, basically, we're taking our 16 keypads and we're turning it into a digital signal on the four outputs here, passing that digital signal through a resistor ladder, which turns it into a varied voltage. And then we're using these two op amps up here to get that voltage in the range. We want it for a volt per octave out, which is what most synthesizers use. Um, we have a trim right here for volt per octave to get the volt per octave rec correct. And we have a tuning over here that can tune what octave we're playing in it. Then we're passing that signal over here. And we have a VCO. I found this on uh, online. It was an old EFM uh, design. It's a sawtooth VCO out. A very simple VCO. I can hear some guys screaming already. It's got a unijunction transistor in it. Um, yes, it does. That 2N2646 is the... Uh, I actually adapted this slightly. That is not the transistor it calls for. The 2N2646 is much more available than the one it calls for. Um, that is available on eBay. I purchased mine off of eBay. It took me a while to get them. There seem to be a lot of them uh, in England. I'm not sure if someone's produced them over there for hobbyists where it's a little more popular. Took me a while to get them, weren't outrageously expensive. I bought uh, 40 or 50 of them because uh, I like playing with them and the uh, oscillators they can do. But if you want to buy three or four of them on eBay, they're pretty reasonable. I also switched the FET uh, to something I had. I would assume a lot of different FETs would work. Um, also, the 0.1 microfarad capacitor lists as a 0 0.01 microfarad in the original schematic. And it was way too high pitched, had, had no low range. I assumed it was misprint and dropped that down because this is pretty straightforward uh, oscillator circuit and that, that would have made it quite high pitched. Um, now, we also have a VCA. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know what a VCA is, it's basically controlling the sound output. Um, we have, when we, when we apply, uh, say we play an A note on the 74C922, it's going to continue to output that A note signal, and the VCO is going to continue to put out that A note until another note is pressed. So 
right here we have a gate signal being passed out which is only on when the key is pressed down. We're going to bring that in the top of the VCA and pass the signal in and out so that the note only sounds when the key is pressed. Um, this schematic I found on electromusic.com. Uh, it is a forum. The schematic had no values. I educated guests the values and it worked beautifully the first try. So uh, if you want to take a glance at my values, it does seem to work there. And um, just take a quick look back through here. It's pretty darn straightforward. The 74C922IC does have a little lag in it. I'm not sure if that's my generation of IC that I have. It's not terribly bad, but if I were playing a, playing it regular for music, I might want to do something a little different here. But this would make a really nice first project. Uh, that VCO is extremely impressive. Uh, EFM. Uh, if you search EFM VCO online, There'll be a, a page pop-up that has a lot of the older EFM VCOs. I can't remember what that one was called, but it is the most simple one I found. And our VCA that I found on electromusic.com, but I'm not sure where to give credit to who initially came up with that design. It's probably a pretty old design, as simple as it is. But I'm going to take another look down here and... Pretty straightforward. I am using a, uh, I am passing this also through one uh, uh, 0.47 microfarad uh, capacitor to ground as a, as a low pass filter. But that's the only filtering on right now. I'm tied up here to my mono synth project power supply just because I don't have a I don't have an available power supply at the moment to plug into. So, uh, thank you all for watching.